Can you still play sports and gain weight? Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Brennan Video on the channel. And in today's video, we're going to talk about sports versus gaining weight. Does the cardio that you do in your sport actually affect the weight that you're gaining? Yes or no? We're going to talk about it in today's video. I'm going to talk about the science behind it and how much calories you're probably burning with your sport, as well as if it is actually affecting, you know, you gaining weight. And I'm also going to give a solution to it at the end of today's video. So definitely stick throughout the whole video. If you either play sports, have played sports, or are going to play sports, or do any type of cardio from walking to like intensely boxing in the near future i'm gonna cover all base in this video very important for you stick throughout the whole video and let's get started first of all the big question does playing sports affect your weight gain and to be honest it does if we simply talk about weight gain you simply have to eat more calories than the amount of calories that you burn let's say you burn 2000 calories on day-to-day -day basis and you eat 2000 the sum is zero you will not gain weight and not lose weight but let's say you don't burn 2000 calories you're also doing cardio on top of that like football basketball and you're burning 2500 and you're only eating 2000 you might actually lose weight and not even maintain your weight and that's also why it's so important to actually keep track of the cardio you're doing that's also why i decided to make a video on this if you can simply find out what your maintenance calories are so what the calories are for you where you're not gaining or losing weight and then you can and simply add calories on top of that you will gain weight and of course it's way simpler than it sounds so let me explain how can you find the calories that you're burning you simply count your calories for two weeks so download an app called my fitness pal simply download that app scan every single food and weigh every single food that you're eating for two weeks and just see approximately how many calories you're eating a day if you're not gaining weight on the time period and also not losing weight then those are the calories your body is burning on a day-to-day -day basis aka your maintenance calories and as already mentioned you simply add 500 on top of that and you will start gaining weight but now of course when you're playing sports this whole thing is a bit different but before i get back into this let's hit this workout Alright guys, welcome back. I'm actually gonna leave a link down in the description to how many calories your sport might be burning. It goes over soccer, basketball, boxing, running and all that kind of stuff to give you like approximately how many calories your sport is burning. And right now I'm simply gonna go into this little bit of a mathematical explanation on how much you should probably eat when you're doing sports. So let's say after you track your weight for two weeks and you count your calories, you're eating approximately 2000 calories and these are the calories where you're not gaining or losing weight. If you add 500, you should be gaining weight. So you start eating 2500, but still you don't see the results you want. And this is probably because of the cardio you're doing or because of the sports you're playing. Let's say you train three times a week and you have like trainings of like one to two hours. You're gonna burn a couple hundred calories in that time zone, even if it's like just walking, running, basketball, boxing, I don't care, you will burn calories. So what you simply have to do is on the days that you are working out, eat the calories more that you burn off in the training. Very simple. So let's say with the link down in the description, you're gonna get like a rough estimation of how many calories you're burning uh, during like practicing your sports. Let's say you have to eat 2,500 to gain weight, but you do like 400 calories of cardio. You don't have to eat 2,500, you're gonna have to eat 2,900 to start gaining weight, okay? So on the days that you are doing cardio, just kind of like recalculate how many calories you probably have to eat and then you're actually going to be again in a calorie surplus and you're going to be able to gain weight. And now let's quickly talk about the myth. Does playing sports affect muscle building? This is probably one of the biggest myths I've ever heard. Generally speaking, doing cardio or playing sports has no effect on muscle building at all. The only thing you really have to keep in mind is of course the calories as we talked about a second ago, but also about the muscles you're using. If you're playing basketball like me, let me throw a little clip on screen of me absolutely bawling on these kids. <laughs> So you probably know that you are burning calories, but also you're using certain muscles. You're using your arms a lot. My chest might even hurt doing a jump shot and stuff. You might even use your shoulders a lot, you know? So you do have to keep in mind that, let's say you hit a workout before, 
you know you're going to do a match and the match is very intense you might use some muscles again if you had a leg day before playing soccer and like a football match like you're simply gonna have like sore legs probably the day after and it might not be the best thing to like have that match a day after your leg day what i'm just trying to say is that no it will not affect building muscle what it can affect is the recovery of your muscles if you had a leg day and you're doing like a football match you are probably gonna like kill the recovery because you're still using your legs the day after and that's the only way it can really like kill your gains so if you have like uh, a match or a training after the day that you already use that muscle just give the muscle a bit more recovery get enough sleep in at least eight hours drink a lot of water maybe even put some ice and stretch out the muscle after playing your sport and hit your protein goal which is about two grams of protein per kg of body weight i personally think we covered a lot of bases when it comes down to playing sports it doesn't really affect building muscle just keep in mind that it can kill your recovery as well as gaining weight is easy even when you're playing sports just eat the amount more of calories that you burned on the days that you were playing your sport that's like a very short summary of this video i hope you guys still enjoyed this it's like a question i got frequently asked on my instagram so if you guys still have questions comment them down below or simply follow me on my instagram and dm me over there for some more one-on-one -on -one tips when it comes down to gaining weight and building muscle i thank you all for watching and as always let's make these gains like